Um, all we wanted to do, uh, Hamdan, was to match Carlos. Even matching Carlos is a hell of an achievement. But uh, I don't know if you remember, but um, when we were in Mexico City when, during the wrap-up, I made the invitation to come to Ireland. And I said that, you know, that we, I'd already been on the phone to architects and builders to build something as dramatic and as beautiful as uh, Carlos's wonderful new museum uh, with all the Rodas in it. So this is what we just threw up. <laughs> <laughs> in including the square and all the reproduction paintings that you've seen. <laughs> um, uh, just, you know, I would like to just say to thank everybody for coming here, particularly on a Saturday night, and for leaving your families. And it's particularly pleasing to welcome you to Dublin Castle, which obviously is a very historic building uh, and complex here for us in Ireland, because this was the original seat of uh, Britain's power up until 1922. Uh, 1922. So it's a very historic building. And, you know, as we uh, met, uh, discussed today, we're discussing obviously very, very important issues over the next number of years with the, uh, the agreement uh, towards signing new Millennium uh, Development Goals. And the world we live in is just one large community and it's shrinking at a truly rapid rate because of technology. And, you know, the, the, uh, the Vestberg, and uh, with Ericsson and the Huawei's obviously are getting the great benefit of that and they're going to br actually bring free broadband equipment now to everybody all over the world. <laughs> so uh, well done on this unique <laughs> initiative. But in, in a serious way, we all have a real responsibility to those in our world who are still lacking the technology tools that can have such a revolutionary impact and effect on people's way of living their lives, and including life itself. We are all very conscious of how technology can revolutionize food production, healthcare, and education. In Ireland, we have a word called mehal, pronounced mehal. The mehal was a cooperative labor system which evolved in the 19th century in rural Ireland where groups of neighbors helped each other with farming work such as harvesting crops. Neighbors helped and assist each other in many, many other ways. They suspended their differences that they had over many years and rolled up their sleeves to help each other. But it did not apply just to farming. Neighbors helped each other to build new homes to replace appallingly unhealthy, cramped hovels where families eked out an existing existence following the potato famine in the 1840s, where about one and a half million people died in Ireland. The Mehal inculcated a wonderful sense of community spirit over this country. And it was subsequently promoted by the many Irish missionaries of nuns and priests who went into the developing world. The spirit of Mehal has a pivotal place, I think, in the development world which we were talking about today. It is the way for us to help in whatever way we can. We are all in just one community in this ever-evolving world where there are as many opportunities as there are challenges. But we must not focus solely on the opportunities. Indeed, I believe that the challenges of broadband warrant more of our attention. And without doubt, one of the most valuable achievements for all of us to deliver on is digital development and a hardening of new Millennium Development Goals in 2015. As part of a global movement where it now is a basic human right to have access to the internet. Thank you very much to everybody for being here with us. Thank you very much, Hamadoun, for being here. Thank you very much, Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bokova. Thank you for everybody to make their way to Dublin. May I also thank the prime organizers, uh, led by Sinead Walsh, Patricia, <laughs> Patricia Benoit-Guive, who uh, 
has been uh, organising, helping organise these so successfully, these meetings over the last number of years. Louise Delahunty and her team, Craig Becker and Nicola Prendergast. So, you won't, uh, be, if you wouldn't mind standing, could everybody stand who I mentioned and just thank you for a little bow. Thank you very, very much.